Hey friends, I'm Dee and I'm pretty new to gaming. I'm playing some more Minecraft on the Vervain's Arcadia server today. And if you enjoy watching people exist in chaos and confusion, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And be sure to give the video a like too. Apparently the algorithm likes that. And to be fair, I do too. Now, things have been a bit quiet on my channel lately, and that's mostly because these two latest episodes have involved a lot of off-camera grinding. But my health has also been flaring badly, and I've been listening to my body's need for extra rest and quiet. As ever, though, I'm learning tons of new things here on the server, and I'm excited to show you both the current and upcoming projects. With all that said, my first project in this episode took us back to my very favorite place, the nether. This time it was for one of my biggest scale farm projects yet. Now this is my least favorite part of the game. Okay. So. As you can see here. Ugh. I have soul speed on my boots. As you can see here, we're in a soul sand valley, and right over here, there's another fortress. And there is... I'm grabbing fire resistance. There's so much fire, and then blazes, and yeah. Alright, we chugged one of those, let's head back on in. All fire resistance up. Ugh. Oh god. That's a blaze. Okay. Oh lordy. Okay. Gosh. Goodness. Badoom. 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 Okay. He's dead. Let's take out some of those blazes too. Goodness. This is ridiculous. Oh, no! Alright, we lost some things there. It's fine. Alright, we're gonna just hop right up here. How about right there? Oh, perfect. Perfect. And this way, I can shoot at some wither skellies over there. Don't think I have anybody right here. So... Oh, gosh. Come on, guys. Come on. This is ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. Alrighty. Oh, gosh. Oh, Lord. Okay. Okay. How does it not see me? Oh, come on. There we go. That's more like it. Alright, Blazes. That's enough. I'm really loving that all of the chests are smack dab in the middle of this crimson forest. Well, it's absolutely official. I despise nether fortresses. I have an unfortunate piece of news. Uh, well, we are almost completely spawn proofed. There's a little bit more. And it's in the crimson forest. And it's exposed. And I don't want to do it, but my spawn sphere says that I have to. Well, we've done it. We've spawn proofed this entire nether fortress. That was a nightmare. I do not ever want to do that again. I definitely will, though, at some point in my life. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and... I think we're going to use this crossroads. I just like that it's a little bit more protected. And, yeah, we'll go from there. Okay, we are now just running around to pull out the last little bits of spawn proofing that we did in here. And then we will be leaving quite quickly. Goodness. There are blazes everywhere still. Oh, let's not remove that. There are blazes everywhere, and I don't know why they're spawning, because every piece of that fortress itself is covered up, and I wonder if it's because there's a big old piece of, like, land mass here underneath this. 
And I wonder if that's going to cause me problems. Okay. That's the last torch. We're going to leave that area. And we're going to swoopy swoop right on down in here. Oh! We already have our first wither skelly. Look at that. Okay. Well, the piglins aren't tracking the turtle egg. And I don't know what... Like... I thought the blazes were supposed to go after the iron golem. Maybe not. But I don't know what the blazes are supposed to be doing. The good news is the wither skellies are falling down. Oh, and that's our first skull right there. Awesome. The wither skellies are falling down just fine. It's that everything else is up there. And that's going to cause problems. So... The turtle egg broke on him already, so the zombified piglins are not going towards him. In fact, they seem to be going away from him. I'm also worried that the magma cubes may be causing him some damage. I'm just generally worried about this. Okay, been sitting here for a little bit. Let's see. Ba doop, ba doop, ba doop, ba doop. And we finally have. Three more with their skelly skulls, in addition to the three that I got while, or, well, I got two while building this, and I had an extra leftover from, yeah, whole thing, whole thing. Um, let's not die on our way out here. It's all going to be actually fine, though, because once I put on my nice protection for a netherite helmet, and, oh gosh, Head down to the bottom of the world. Things will be so much easier than they were the last time we tried to fight a wither on this server. My very first time fighting the wither was at the bottom of the world on my single player world. Oh, goodness. Uh, which is on a normal difficulty. And we did okay. We, we were, we were kind of just fine. How much worse could it be? Okay. I'm just sticking back here instead. A little farther away from the lava sounds. Oh, you can't be touching anything. Right? I think... I think this is what we found out last time we did this. I don't even remember. Okay. We're gonna go doop, doop. And... Then... We're gonna run. I'm actually gonna warn everybody. Uh... All right, there we go. We stay far, far, far away. Okay. There he is. And honestly, we're not even here to like mine things or anything. We mostly just want to take him down. A uh, shoop! A uh, shoop! Come back! Come on! Keep coming! Ow! Rude! I should have my totem in my offhand, not torches. I just realized. It's fine. Ah! There he is! He's gone! Awesome! Now it's the time for torches. Okay. Okay. Awesome. There's so much cobbled deep slate. I don't have shulker boxes. Just for kicks. Let's, uh, try the one over here. Okay. The all-knowing Google tells me that it's really as simple as placing the soul sand here. Placing the skulls on there, where they're supposed to go. And then the head will get, like, the main head will get just stuck in the bedrock. So, I'm going to not do that. I thought I thought you could put the heads in like any orientation. Apparently not. Boop, boop. And ba doop. And we're just going to walk a little bit away from him for the moment. Let him Ah, still hit me. Oh gosh, he's like suffocating. 
This feels not quite correct. And then we just boop, 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 boop. Okay. That works. I'll take it. Like nothing got nothing got hurt up here, right? Okay, this farm is still not working nearly the way it's supposed to. I uh, AFK'd for like two hours or so last night. Uh, while, yeah, just kind of sitting waiting around and I got six skulls. It's supposed to be 40 an hour, uh, but like I, I built the farm pretty much to specification. Um, we still have dudes spawning up in here, which is a problem, but... I think we have some solutions. So, for one thing, I think we're going to go ahead and turn this into a wither skeleton only farm. We have an intact blaze spawner, um, and we can turn that into a farm. And that's the only other valuable resource we're really getting from this. The bounding box for the crossroads would allow, allow us to put three platforms in at a crossroads. Plus we have two crossroads right here. We might as well put them together. We're basically having a problem where there's not a lot of spawning space and the, the things that are spawning, like our AFK spot is so close that they're not ever despawning. So even if we just drop down our AFK platform, this would immediately start uh, working better. But honestly, um, we could use this entire area for, for spawning. Okay, so my plan at this point, we first need to go get wither roses. And for that, we're going to head over to the end where there's already a wither farm. All right, so if you remember last night when I fought the wither, it was suffocating in here. And apparently when a wither kills something, its health gets restored. So, um, yeah, killing the snow golems and creating wither roses will also keep it alive. Let's start him up. There he goes. And then we'll wait until he gets, like, all warmed up. There we go. All right. And there we go. Okay, this is perfect. All right, this is the fun part where we go in. We run around and we pick up uh, snowballs and wither roses because he can't hurt us. We're not tall enough to be hurt by the wither, which is kind of crazy if you ask me. Okay. And then we will craft up all our snow blocks here. And according to enx 4 this should be exactly Two stacks. Look at that! What do you know? Alright, pumpkins are in there. Let's continue. Many ordeals later, it is done. It is ready. Ha! Ah, I picked up more uh, Wither Skelly skulls uh, during the process. Oh my gosh, you can see. I need to go pick up all of my uh, shulker boxes still and generally do cleanup. But, Pearl came over and helped out because... I was having uh, wither skellies getting stuck by the drop shoot. There's another skull, um, and it was it was problematic. And so she came over and we workshopped a lot. Only got hit by a few wither skellies, and we now have a decent little decent little thing going here. Oh my gosh, that sound is terrifying. Oh my lord, ha! Huh? They're taking cramming damage. Oh my gosh. Uh, but enough of being underground in the nether and uh, dealing with scary, spooky things. It is time to relax and do some building. I'm going to go ahead and put in the big lodge for most of the rest of our villagers, all the Fletchers pretty much, to inhabit. But I'm just going to chill and relax here for a bit. I have a couple of stacks of Wither Skelly Skulls after AFKing for just, oh gosh, a couple of days. Ow. Skills. <laughs> but I have a couple stacks of Wither Skelly Skulls after AFKing for a couple of hours. And I am so ready to do something buildy and fun like that. 
Okay, I have sunk a lot of time into this build. I, I, it took so long for some reason, but I love it so much. We uh, may have had an incident or two or three with the fireplace. It's fine. Uh, the first time, pretty much that entire wall burnt down before I could get it out, but it is now safe. Also, I adore how this staircase turned out. I don't know. I think it looks real good. The doors have berries underneath the carpets. So hopefully they shouldn't walk out. We will test that in not too long. Now the lag is being just a little bit rough, which reminds me that um, I don't plan to put them in little one by two holes. I don't plan to, but if we need to, we will. Now, I think I'm going to run the rails just right through the window so that they have a spot that they can go through without suffocating. All right, here's the ultimate test. I'm going to set my bed down here. He's claimed it, but he hasn't walked towards it. The sun's going down. Let's see what happens. Okay, he can walk through that. That is uh, quite problematic. Okay, well, now that that's all taken care of, I'm going to go ahead and keep uh, sprucing up the town here. I've decided that I'm going to wait on building the train station until I have bamboo blocks, which should be very, very soon. Um, but... For now, I'm going to get building, and I think the lag's better now that, you know, those villagers are gone. I'm going to keep an eye on it as I work in the area, and we'll see if we have to make a basement for our friendly Fletchers. Okay, we have done some more of the exterior work and snowing things up and all that, and, well, this side is looking pretty snowy and pretty cool. And uh, pretty decently spawn-proofed as well. But um, I, I've, I've run out. And I want to finish this side today. You know, kind of to, to wrap things up. This side, we're going to wait until the train station goes in. And then that will uh, get snowed up then. So, we have a place to go. So, we're out here at Amy's base where she is actively building mountains and it's so cool but she showed me this the other day and told me that I'm welcome to use it so let's go check it out this is an automatic snow farm and I had no idea you could do such a thing so I think all we need to do is flip the switch and the flying machine goes across with snow golems and the TNT comes down and breaks the snowballs and the flying machine also sweeps things from side to side and the thing is we can go ahead and make a bunch of snow blocks or er, uh snow snow layers what are these called snow just snow <laughs> we can go ahead and make a bunch of snow out of that as well so what i've been doing around here is occasionally just finding a spot to like Punch out a grass block and put in a snow block and then put a soul lantern on it, which is great because uh, soul lanterns have light levels that don't ever melt snow. And then we're just doop, 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 doop. plus they're, you know, blue and they go great with the whole area. And then, you know, if there's a couple spots where we have zero light levels, I'll add an extra layer or two of snow. And it's working out great for me, I think. Okay, this is looking awesome. I love that we have, like, this whole area snowed up. We snowed up this roof, and, like, I kind of went off the idea that, like, this area is going to be transitioning into a spring area farther beyond this. And so, like, the snow's starting to slide off the roof, right? Um, it's turning into big sheets of snow with icicles off of it like it does in Alaska in the spring. Um, and so there's patches of snow on the roof, you know, 
spots where the roof is warmer, the sl- the snow is going to melt more, like, around the chimney. Um, and not everywhere has snow on it anymore, so we can still see the very pretty roof, too. I'm so absolutely delighted with this area and uh, how it's turning out. I, oh, it's so pretty. We'll definitely have some more work to do in this area, and I have a very special project for this area that we'll be working on in the next episode, and I'm so excited. I can't tell you guys how excited I am about it, but for now, it's been one of those episodes that's taken forever to actually put together, and I am ready to wrap this thing up. So, if you enjoyed it, do, of course, give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you around for the next episode. Bye!